Black Nerd, transform and roll out. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and I just wanted to chat with you, one, because I'm not really angry or not angry about this topic and also because my voice is still a little under the weather. I went to this party with Ninja Turtles in Dallas. Somehow that affected my voice. I got some ooze in me, buddy. I'm gonna turn into Toka or Razar or Fly Baxter Stockman, let's be real. But we're not here to talk about Ninja Turtles, we're here to talk about Transformers, Transformers Age of Extension, 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 Extension Level Event. Must have rhymes. Transformers 4, they put a trailer out. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it. And not too long ago, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 also put their official trailer out. And like many of you, I was surprised that both of these franchises kept going. The Amazing Spider-Man, of course, was a big surprise because it came out right after Spider-Man 3. And people were like, whoa, whoa, we just had this Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire dancing around. How could you want to make another movie right after that? With a completely different director, completely different look, complete reboot, just like that. Transformers is the same in a slightly different way. We thought that Transformers Transformers 3 was it, we're gonna probably have a few years off and then Transformers will probably get rebooted itself because it's a big franchise. But then Michael Bay was all like, nah, I'm making another one, I'm gonna direct it, but the cast is gonna be completely different, time will have passed, the first three movies still exist, but it's a brand new story, a brand new chapter, and a different tone than the first three films, supposedly. We'll see. I'm starting to realize that this is gonna actually be the norm. This is the future of franchise films. So how franchise films used to work in the past was they were almost like, oh, we didn't expect this to happen, let's keep going. You make a movie, it go out, super popular, everyone loves it, and you go like, oh, great, that was really good. Let's try to get the entire cast back together, sign up new contracts, and make a sequel as fast as we can. Because you didn't do any of that before the movie was done, that takes a lot of time. So a lot of times we would get sequels four, five, six years after the original, time has passed, people don't care about it anymore. So a lot of times you would have have sequels that will not do as good as the original. So movies are trying to preempt that now by doing these franchise films where they're trying to do as many films as possible in a short amount of time. We're fast tracking to the next one immediately. That's why you're hearing nowadays when actors and actresses get cast in major roles that they sign for these contracts that have two or three movies. So there's no question about if they can come back or not. They're coming back. Or in the case of Mark Ruffalo, you're gonna be the Hulk for like six films, I heard. And it's mainly so that these movies can stay relevant. Now you have television. And television has really changed the game when it comes to movies. A lot of television today is event programming. If you look at most of your programs, particularly on cable and Netflix, that's how they do. They give you six or eight or ten episodes of a show, and then you have a good inkling if the show is popular that the show is going to return, whether it shows one half in the spring and another half in the fall, and it comes on the same time every year. It becomes this event programming that you know is coming back every single year. Movies, up to this point, have not really done that that much. It's usually been, here's one film, oh, it does well, let's make another one. Now the movies are trying to act like television. They're trying to do as fast as possible, which of course is a bit harder when you're a movie because you have a lot more money and a lot more production to have to deal with, but they are trying to do the same thing of how can we keep putting out franchises over and over again within a short amount of time. Sony is really trying to do it. We're gonna have Spider-Man movies every single year, whether it's an official Amazing Spider-Man movie or it's a Venom movie or a Sinister Six movie, something Spider-Man related will be on a big screen. If a Smurf has to run across the screen dressed as Spider-Man, Spider-Smurf is gonna happen. If the Men in Black come out and <laughs> Will Smith got a Spider-Man suit underneath his black suit, that's gonna happen. Doesn't Sony own Will of Fortune in Jeopardy? If Pat Sajak and Alice Trebek kinda come on screen in Spider-Man suits, it's gonna happen. Spider-Man will be in your face every single year because you know that mouse is just sitting by there, just waiting. Sony has to basically do something with Spider-Man like every day, like they cannot skip a day. It's like an exercise routine with them. They have to do 30 minutes of Spider-Man every single day or the moment that they don't, Disney's like, what's up? people, didn't see no Spider-Man today. Give me that, Spider-Man. Some movie franchises have also made this possible and have already kind of put this rule into place and what changed the game for a lot of movies. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and believe it or not, the Twilight Saga. Say what you will about that Twilight Saga, but they knew, those Twihards knew every single year they get a Twilight movie. Harry Potter fans knew. Lord of the Rings had it in their trailer. They were like, here's what you're gonna get for the next three years. And then you have the case of the Marvel films where you have so many different franchises that can go out and do their own movies and then even have movies where they're all together at once. So it almost feels like you're getting a movie as part of a franchise or part of a series every single year or every few months in certain cases. And movies have not been able to do that. Remember when Back to the Future Part Two actually showed Showed scenes to Back to the Future Part 3 because they shot them at the same time or when they announced they were shooting two Matrix movies at the same time we were like what that's crazy talk well that's gonna probably now be the norm because movies have to stay relevant they gotta keep themselves in your face because if they are gone for too long 
we forget them. Which brings me back to Transformers 4, which I think is pretty interesting. So now we're having a sequel that's technically a reboot at the same time, a mini reboot. And yeah, from that Transformers trailer, it looks like they're trying to say, hey, this is different. We got Dinobots this time. We got Mark Wahlberg. We are completely not that Shia LaBeouf movie. We're gonna be all serious now. However, the first three trailers for the old Transformers movie were also very serious, and we saw how that turned out. So, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on me again. Fool me three times, seriously, how did I get fooled three times? I feel like this probably will have a different tone. I feel like it will not be as wacky as some of those other Transformers movies, as some of the comedy elements, and I use comedy in quotes, but we'll see how different it really is. We're not completely restarting from scratch, but we're putting a new chapter out. In a way, I think this could be fascinating. I would love to see a franchise have different types of films come out. You have a multitude of characters where you could have spinoffs, or you could have a story told episode by episode by different directors different people and get different styles of the same franchise that could be a very interesting and fun thing on the flip side however this could result in fatigue i really could see a lot of fatigue i mean no offense to spider-man dude but you're just spider-man that's it i mean you're not like the entire marvel franchise or like warner brothers has the entire dc franchise they could make a dc movie every single year but you are literally just spider-man and random villains from spider-man you really gonna make a movie every single year with book series like harry potter lord of the rings hunger games it's very easy to make movies based on them because like, okay, for every single book, here's a movie. Or two movies in some cases. Really? Part one, part two? The book is too big. Uh, we can't fit it all in one film. Unless you're The Hobbit where one story that can fit in one movie can magically become 18 movies. What can sometimes happen, which I cannot stand, is when a movie knows it's gonna be a franchise film, a series of films, so it doesn't really give you that good, strong first film. It's almost like a primer for the next movie. So you end up with a lot of cliffhangers or unanswered questions or not a full, complete film because they're not looking at it as a movie. They're looking at it as a part of a series of movies. I sometimes feel like that messes the movie up. Like it doesn't give you a complete film. Give me a good movie every single time. Don't cheap out because you may not have more movies. Where's my Aragon part two? Where's that movie at? My personal favorite was Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun-Li. They had the audacity to have a cliffhanger where they were gonna be like, oh, Ken and Ryu are gonna be in the next movie. Really? Did you really look at the movie and think, oh yeah, this is a franchise. We're gonna make more of these. But yes, get ready for more franchises, more Avengers style movies, more just whatever we can give you because that TV is kicking butt. The zombies and the serial killers and the meth makers, brothers and sisters making out on HBO, and the films can't keep up. This is all your fault, Kevin Spacey and Crazy Eyes. It's all because of you. Good job. Now I wanna hear from you. What did you think of the Transformers trailer and this Amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer? And what's your feeling about this whole franchise film business? Do you feel like that this is the new way of doing movies? or do you wish movies were just movies, one-off movies. And if you do like the idea of the franchise film, what television show, movie, cartoon, comic book, would you be happy to see a movie of every single year, if possible? I love it like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000, chain chomp, yomp. I wanna see Spider-Man dancing with Will Smith. Here come the Spider-Man. They have Stan Lee in the background doing a hammer man. Excelsior, have a time. Oh, 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 oh. Give me that, Spider-Man. <laughs>